the double alpine butterfly loop. Hello everybody, welcome back. And in today's little exercise, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to tie the double alpine butterfly loop. In a previous video, I showed you how to tie the single um, alpine butterfly loop. And in this one, obviously, it's gonna be the double one. Now, the beauty about this knot is one, it is very, very simple. It is very, very secure. And also the other thing is you can actually make your loops two different sizes. As you can see here, I've got a longer loop or a shorter loop. And on this one here, I've got both my loops are exactly the same size. And so if I've got my carabiner, and obviously this one says not for climbing, so obviously I don't wanna go climbing with it, but you can if you want to attach a carabiner to a single loop or to the double loop to give additional security, I can't imagine ever me leaving the ground on the side of a rock face and strapping onto something. But anyway, for those of you who are rock climbers, will know the ins and outs of this particular knot. So anyway, and also the other beauty about this knot is that if used in conjunction with other rope work, it can give you a mechanical advantage if you're doing some form of um, pulley system with your ropes. So in other words, oh, let's get on and tie it, Johnny. Let's tie the double butterfly loop. So I'll undo this and then I'll show you how to tie it. So as usual, any information or additional information will be in the description below, whichever direction that's in. And so yeah, have a look below if you want additional information on this knot. Okay, so this one is really a doddle to tie. You don't need access to either end of the rope. You just need to get hold of the rope like so in the palm of your hand. And we, all we do is we take one turn round like so and bring it over. And then we take another turn round and bring it over. And for those of you who are used to tying the single butterfly loop, you know the next step on this. But for those of you who don't know how to tie the single loop, I'll put a link in the description below and also in at the end of the video. And so what we do now is, this is the point we get to if we're tying the single butterfly loop, but to tie the bus double butterfly loop, all we do is take one more turn around our hand like so. And now you can see I've got one, two, three, four, cords going over the palm of my hand like so. The next thing that I do is I dive underneath the right hand cord and get hold of the two central turns there. So underneath this one here, get hold of those two here and just gently pull it through until you get roughly the size loop that you want to create in your actual rope. So keep pulling it through till you get the size that you want. And here we go, I've got this size here and it couldn't be any simpler. Once you've dived underneath, you've got your two loops like so. All you do is take them over these two here and then under those two there. So take them over, tuck them under like so, pull them through and there we go. We now have our knot starting to form. And just get hold of all the ends and pull it up until it's nice and tight, dress it smartly, like so, pull it up, and there we have it. We have our double, because there's two, <laughs> we have a double alpine butterfly loop tied in our rope like so. And this is a great little loop, or double loop, because it will take a lot of strain. It's a very secure one. And even when it's had a lot of strain under it, it's easy to undo by just getting hold of the two like butterfly wings, I suppose here, and just prizing them apart like so, and it's easy enough to come undone. So there we have it. We have the do double alpine butterfly loop. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me one of these. If you hated it, give me one of these. But whatever you do, Leave me a comment and I'll have a chat with you online. So anyway, till the next video, take care and see you shortly. Bye-bye.